I've got an example from today how all this played out with the guy, the boss guy at work that kind of oversees my trading. Um, he sends me a, the market when I was gone to lunch, it shot up a bunch and ruined a bunch of my positions. And uh, I mean, trading is hard enough. Your ego and worth is sort of on the line. Um, so I'm pissed off at that anyway. And uh, he sends me a text like eight out of your nine positions were short, not a way to make good money, long-term strategy. And my teen immediately just got so fucking furious and I asked ask him and he was like, I think he's a fucking idiot and needs to mind his business and leave me alone. Mm -hmm. um, so, and this is on my drive back to work. So I'm like, if I go into this office right now, it's the worst thing I could possibly do. I'm not in a good place. So I walked around the building for, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes, just kind of taking deep breaths um, and like hugging my teen and just kind of chilling him out until I came up with a text message like, thank you for your input. You know, I, I thought all my trades made sense. Um, I'm working to get better. Maybe this trade in Twitter didn't make sense. And um, felt my body kind of relax and chill out before I went back in. And when I go back in over to him, he starts telling me how my Twitter trade actually did make sense and that I was being too hard on myself. So it like, just getting my energy right totally shifted his, uh, from where he was and all, like he ended up giving me a pep talk it was it, it's crazy how this will work if you yeah because he couldn't relate he couldn't like interact with that resonance that you were having about it you know but, but right. the point is you're also getting a real window into this guy and how short he can be and how teen oriented he can be and then oh it's tough yeah. you weren't meeting the teen right he then bounced into the child and tried to make you feel better right thanks for that so mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know, people like that are actually kind of easy to deal with if you understand that's what they're doing. <laughs> Gives you a lot of information. We'll that's talk about a different outcome too than had you <laughs> sent that text message oh. back, right? <laughs> you know? Oh. <laughs> well, oh yeah. I mean, I would be looking for a new job. I was my teen was ready to look for a whole new job. Fuck this. I'm gonna burn it all down. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and I'm pulling up the building on my way. I don't need this shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. and so you and and you know you may need to talk to your team about that a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's in the works. Would you ask for like in the future? I would prefer if you didn't bring the hammer down on a bad trade that I already know I made a mistake on, or like just saying like, look, I you know I'm pretty hard on myself when I make these mistakes. I'm aware of it. I don't feel like you saying that helps me, or I I don't know if I respect it i mean that that might work but i don't know if i respect his opinion enough to try to change him brent we'll probably we'll probably have to work this out in the future well and you but, wouldn't do you wouldn't do that in until it had already been soothed right right that's what i okay. mean though. like after dealing with his own soothing would you ask like in the future i would prefer I'm not, I know anybody yeah. could, I'm just asking for you then, like, do you Yeah, know? we're, we're due for a better conversation eventually when I get in a better, once I've done the corrections around him and I'm in a solid spot, but I'm not there yet. So now I just boundary up and Until walk you. around when I, and just try to deal with it that way. That makes sense. Well, and you can give him feedback about it too, using the format. Just, I mean, I'll work with you on it, but like, you know, you would not report all the feeling words, you would use thought words, but you know, once it's soothed, you may want to give them some feedback. And that's what you're referring to in, right? The, what I prefer in the future is at the end of the talking portion of the format. Yeah. So, I mean, you're definitely able to use that Lynn, but you want to make sure your relationship's in a place where you want to ask for something from him. Like, I don't use the, what I prefer in the future before in the future that much because I don't, I'm not concerned with what other people are doing as much anymore and it's a better way to be if you could just manage it yourself and then just be like okay this is what's going on now there are intimate relationships where it's good that you can ask that especially romantic ones but the idea is that you don't really need to go to them with anything you're just like watching them be that way yeah I guess I can't, I've kind of been thinking you know if I get myself right then it won't matter what he does um, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But because like Ian's saying, you have an ongoing relationship, you may need to do something, but you know, makes sense. Yeah. It's great. Thanks Ian. <laughs>